This is the border fence that separates Mexico and the United States. Day and night, hundreds of immigrants from Mexico and Central America are trying to break through this fence and find work and a new life in the USA. Todos los días intenta cruzar a los Estados Unidos con el fin de ganar dinero, pero no. Todo el tiempo lo echan fuera. De 100 gente pasa 5, 3. No nos quieren nosotros los mexicanos. It is because of illegal immigrants crossing in towns like this one of Agua Prieta that the US Congress recently deployed the National Guard and is considering building a vast wall to defend its border with Mexico. I have come to see for myself the immigrants who are trying to make this often dangerous crossing. Ayúdanos a encontrar un trabajo, señor. Te pido, señor, que cuides de cada uno de nosotros en los pasos que damos, señor. Guíanos, señor, que tú seas nuestro guía, señor. Cada vez mueren más. Van más de 2,000 personas que mueren en, en estas tierras. Por eso, por el endurecimiento de las políticas de la vigilancia. No, está mucho más difícil que antes. Amigos con los que yo he trabajado, que he tenido que irlos a enterrar, porque confiaron en otra persona y los dejó en el desierto. Ellos ya vienen caminando desde, desde el sur hasta acá, más de 2.000 kilómetros, en camión, en tren, a pie, en raites. Pues ya al estar aquí en la frontera, ya su, su mentalidad no va a cambiar, ellos ya solo van a tratar de cruzar. ¿no? At the church refuge, I met three men who were setting off to attempt the crossing into the USA. Two of these men were looking for any work they could find. The other had just been deported and was desperate to rejoin his wife and children. Their route, they told me, would be the longest and hardest, but the most certain to succeed. Some 50 kilometers from the US border, we stopped and waited in a safe house. These safe houses are where smugglers keep the immigrants locked up out of sight before the crossing. I found a group of 20 indigenous Mexicans, lost and confused, locked into a room at the mercy of the smugglers. <laughs> Pues se siente uno desesperado, desesperado, desesperado no sabe dónde, para dónde jalar, tiene familia en México y tiene familia aquí en Estados Unidos. Corra o no corra, no, todo, la vida es un riesgo. Ya, ya estoy decidido, ya, ya, ya. Nos vamos mañana. Ahead of us was the first mountain range. I had been told to prepare for three days and nights. Well, we've been walking about four hours. Nobody else has really brought water, apart from me. But you see how unprepared some of these people start this journey. <coughs> In order to avoid any Mexican or US border police, we'd started our journey well inside Mexico. Just coming up to a river, which we need to cross. I think we're gonna get wet. It was pretty fast as well. Unable to cross with the recent rains, we took a different route and traveled through the night. Well, we've hit these train tracks, which are totally near the, near the border. So I think we're about an hour away. A passing repair train let us jump on saving valuable hours. As the weather closed in and the going got tough, I asked the men if they believed life would be better on the other side. El sueño americano. Muchos se quedan en el, en el camino. ¿Cuál es el sueño americano para ustedes? Llegar a trabajar y a ganar unos dólares para mandarlos a México. Tener una televisión ahí más o menos, un ministerio, un carrito, ¿verdad?
very close. I think this is the last 100 metres before we're into the territory of the United States. Brincamos la alambre ya es territorio americano. over and jumped and then we were in the United States. We've been walking about three hours now um, in complete darkness and I'm quite exhausted and my feet are soaking. We soon set off again. We had the whole of the US Huachaca Mountains before us. We moved fast and the pace began to tell. We kept to the thickest part of this wild forest. These bears are dangerous and have been known to attack. It's the morning of the third day. We're all absolutely exhausted. We've still got a long way to go, I think, probably another two days. And as we go, you see all around on the ground and things, um, drugs and stimulants and packets of, of all these things and Red Bull and shoes and discarded clothes and there are the remnants of all the, the immigrants women and children and men who've been passing before us desperately trying to keep themselves strong um, with stimulants simply to get across these mountains this is the immigrant trail and it's a tough one so behind me is the Arizona desert. We're going to walk it at night because that's where many of the police and the border patrol and the Minutemen, the volunteer Americans to defend America's borders wait. Within minutes a spotter drone flew overhead and began circling us. Desperate to avoid these spotter planes we fled into cover. We ran across highways terrified of being seen by passing cars. That evening, barely able to walk after five days, a prearranged car suddenly pulled up in the darkness. Without warning, the men jumped in and I was left alone on the side of a highway. Despite North America's attempt at protecting its borders, these Mexican immigrants crossed successfully. Weeks after arriving in the US, each of my travelling companions found work. One is in Phoenix as a gardener, another in Chicago as a garbage collector, and another working as an office cleaner in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> 